looking at the water cycle today. What is the water cycle? The water cycle is the movement of water from the land and the sea to the air again by a process of evaporating, condensing, freezing and melting. Key concepts. Evaporation, the changing of a liquid into a gas. Condensation, a gas that changes into a liquid. Melting, ice or snow melts. It gains heat and becomes a liquid. In freezing, a liquid loses heat and becomes a hard solid like hailstones or snow. It is important to know in the water cycle, all of these states of change of matter take place from evaporation to condensation, melting, freezing, all happens in our water cycle. Please learn these words. They are very, very important. A change of state. A substance changes from one state of matter to another when it gains heat or loses heat. Example, a liquid can become a gas when it gains enough heat. Also, if we are boiling water, we are able to see steam coming out of a water. That is an example of a liquid which is changing into a Guess. Okay, why is the water cycle so important to us? Remember, our earth has a limited amount of water and we use water in our daily lives for everything that we do, for drinking, for cleaning, for bathing, for watering our plants. So water is very, very, very important to us on earth. Therefore, we need to save our water and it's very important that our plants get water as well. Plants are giving us oxygen and food and it's important for them to grow. And plants grow by getting water. Plants can only get water from rain or if people are planting um, plants in their gardens and they are watering their plants themselves. However, if there is no water getting to plants, plants are not going to grow, which means... We will not get oxygen and we will not get any food for us to eat. So the water cycle is very important to us in providing water for us on our land. Our earth has a limited amount of water and that water keeps going around, around and around in what is called the water cycle. The water cycle moves from the land and sea to the air and back again. So it goes through the process of evaporating, condensing, freezing, melting. And this is how the process continues in a cycle. Water changes state in the water cycle. So water starts off first by evaporation from rivers, lakes, dams and seas. Gas, um, water changes to a gaseous state. It evaporates and forms clouds. When clouds are formed, condensation takes place. Condensation means that a gas is now changing into a liquid. If the temperature in the clouds is too cold, the water will freeze, it will change to hailstones or into snow. And when those clouds become too heavy, it starts to rain or snow or hail. That hailstones and snow eventually will start to melt because of the sun's heat and flow back into the rivers, lakes and seas and thereafter the whole process starts again. Water evaporates, condensates, freezes and melts in the water cycle. If you watch the next video, you will have a better understanding on the water cycle. Right, if we look at the diagram below, you will see the movement of water on and around earth. Then you can answer the two questions at the bottom. If we start to first at picture number A, where water in the oceans, lakes and rivers and streams gets heated by the sun 
as it gets heated by the sun, it turns into a vapor. And this is called vaporization or water vapor or evaporation. The water vapor rises into the air. It forms clouds. When the vapor cools, it turns into water. And this is called condensation. The next step, water falls to earth as rain or as snow. And this is called precipitation. Precipitation finds its way into oceans, lakes, rivers and streams and then the cycle starts all over again. Try and remember what happened in the video. First the raindrops started to fall, thereafter the sun came out, evaporation happened once the water got heated, the water went to the clouds, after the gas joined Forces together, water changed into a liquid state and it started to rain and the whole process started over again. If we look at the two questions at the bottom, see if you can answer them. True or false, evaporation is when water changes into vapor. Question number two, what is an example of precipitation? Look at the diagram for a answer. Right, here is a water cycle picture. Please can you label in the word blocks the word condensation, evaporation, collection and precipitation. Please study this diagram together with the key concepts, the key words on evaporation, condensation, freezing and melting. Okay, we're going to go through some revision questions now. The first question, name the process when water changes into a gas. Name the process when water changes into a gas. Name the process when water vapor changes into clouds. Name the process when water vapor changes into clouds. State the process when rain changes into a solid. State the process when rain changes into a solid. State the process when hailstones change from a solid to a liquid. State the process when hailstones change from a solid to a liquid. Explain what causes water to change from a liquid into a gas. Explain what causes water to change from a liquid to a gas. Describe in one statement how melting occurs in the water cycle. Describe in one sentence how melting occurs in the water cycle. State what can melt in the water cycle. State what can melt in the water cycle. Identify where condensation occurs in the water cycle. Identify where condensation occurs in the water cycle. Okay. 
I will give you a few moments to write down some answers and then we will go through it together. Okay, we can go through the answers together. Please check your work. If you did not get the answers correct, please make note of it. You can come and ask me in class again to explain and go back to the video and to the drawings and to the notes that I've given you just to make sure. Right, the process when water changes into a gas is called evaporation. The liquid is changing into a gas. It is evaporating and going up into the clouds. The process when water vapor changes into clouds is called condensation. The gas is now changing into a liquid. Remember condensation means a gas is changing into a liquid. State the process when rain changes into a solid. Remember, rain is a liquid. If we are changing the temperature of the liquid, we are making it very cold. For it to change into a solid, it starts to freeze. So the process that happens is freezing. State the process when hailstones change from a solid to a liquid. Remember, as the hailstones fall onto the ground, because the temperature changes, it becomes warmer. The solid is changing into a liquid, and that liquid is water. The process is now called melting. When a solid changes into a liquid, we say that it is melting. Explain what causes water to change from a liquid into a gas. When a liquid gains heat or it becomes hot, it changes from a liquid into a gas. Think of boiling water in a kettle. You will see the liquid changing into steam. That is the same example. When heat, um, when we heat up water, it changes from a liquid into a gas. And in the water cycle, the sun heats the water up and this causes the liquid to change into a gas called water vapor. So in the water cycle, the main source of heat is the sun. Without the sun, the water cycle will not be able to be possible. Describe in one sentence how melting occurs in the water cycle. Remember, melting is changing a solid into a liquid when a solid is gaining heat. So the heat from the sun causes the ice to melt. The ice is a solid. It changes into a liquid in the sun and state what can melt in the water cycle snow can melt and hail can melt they are solids they can melt and change into liquids identify where condensation occurs in the water cycle condensation happens in the clouds when a gas is changing into a liquid condensation when a gas is changing into a liquid and all of this happens in the clouds.